Hi, Assalamu Alaikum. Welcome to Noor's Garden and Kitchen. Today is a very special day for me. Uh, my son born today, so it's my son's birthday today. And uh, I am very fortunate to have him as a son. I have only one son and he's my uh, editor and my director and my cameraman. <laughs> he's everything to me. So if you're very close, we're just like a friends more than son and mother. Uh, we have like a friends relationship. So today's his birthday and he came to visit us <laughs> from where he lives to my house and unfortunately uh, last week, two weeks ago, he broke his arm and uh, he's in a lot of pain. So he don't want to go to the restaurant. So I brought the restaurant home. <laughs> it's a Japanese food. He loves Japanese food, hibachi grill. So I brought the hibachi grill at home, <laughs> I'm making it. We are making some lobster and shrimp and some scallop and fried rice. It's a lot of things we are making today and uh, a lot of vegetables. So there's a lot of ingredients, a lot of preparations, but it's all done now. So we just have to go cook. So let's go see all the ingredients, okay? Let's go. Okay, to make hibachi grill, we have some uh, lobsters. I cut them and clean them and I wash them and I put it in there. I just removed this one completely from the shell. I just kept this to show you how, how they look from the shell. <laughs> it's okay. And I have some shrimp and uh, not too many scallops because uh, only my son likes scallops. We don't eat scallops. And we need some butter, a lot of butter. I got butter. And some sesame seed oil. And some sriracha sauce, hot sauce. And some garlic sauce, chili and garlic sauce. And teriyaki sauce. Soya sauce. And some oyster sauce. It's not ending over here. <laughs> some sprout, moong, moong sprout. And uh, I have a lot of uh, vegetables. All these vegetables, fresh vegetables. I have squash. I cut them into small pieces. And some zucchini, some mushrooms, some onions, and some carrots. It's all gonna go with the grill, okay? Let's go start making uh, fried rice first. So for fried rice, what we need is all these things in here. I'm taking three eggs and we need a lot of garlic for the hibachi and I have some rice. You have to have a rice, cold rice, not supposed to be hot. I cooked this morning and I put it in the refrigerator. It is cold, rice is cold. And uh, some peas and carrots and some green onions okay that's all goes in the fried rice okay we'll first make the fried rice okay let's go make it okay to make fried rice we'll first fry eggs a bit of oil and we'll fry all three eggs in there Little bit of salt, not whole lot, because we're gonna add some soya sauce. Soya sauce is gonna be salty, and a little bit of black pepper. Okay. 
going to add you can break the eggs so they'll come in every bite some vegetables, carrots and peas. are already soft but the carrots will take a few more minutes to do it. Okay, our carrots and peas are ready. So we'll put this rice in there. Fried rice is very easy when you don't have the, especially for the students and single bachelors uh, living by themselves, if they don't have anything, this is the best dish they can eat. My son makes this a lot. It's a complete meal because you have vegetables in there, you have an egg in there, it's a rice. So you don't need anything else with this actually, if you see that. Put a little bit of teriyaki sauce.
check for the uh, salt. Okay friends, we will be doing vegetables. Uh, I put it like a one or two spoons of uh, canola oil. You don't have to put too much oil because we are grilling these vegetables so you really don't need too much uh, oil. So we'll add all these vegetables in there. Carrots, mushroom, onions, everything together. And you put it on a very high flame and cook for a few minutes. Not too long. Do not cook your vegetables for too long. They're going to get mushy. It's going to be high flame. Like just half a spoon because I'm gonna add some soya sauce in there too, and one spoon black pepper, one teaspoon. Colorful, that looks so beautiful. Green, red, yellow, orange, white. Okay, let's add some prayer sauce. Okay, our vegetables are done. So we we'll remove the vegetables now. We start cooking the meat. Okay, it's not very mushy because we didn't cook too much too long. Okay, now I'm cooking some sprout. It's my husband's favorite. He has to have sprouts. It's a moon sprout, moon bean sprout. You can make this at home, it's so easy. But my husband went yesterday to Chinese store and bought this. So they said without sprouts, bachi grill is not really completed. <laughs> Everybody has preference. Okay. 
I don't like sprouts, and I have a lot of sprouts. I'm in the middle. <laughs> Whatever I get, I eat. Because I get tired cooking for them, and then I eat whatever they wanted to cook. I cook, and then I eat whatever. I cook. Okay, that's it. The sprout is done. Okay, we are gonna grill our meat. My grill is hot. I'm gonna put some butter. Add garlic. A lot of garlic. Put this in there. Okay, we're gonna put some lobsters in there. Okay, I'll just remove it from there. much less leave it okay and I put some teriyaki sauce Okay, yummy, yummy, our lobster are ready. Oh, looks so good. Smells good. It tastes good too. Already tested. <laughs> Don't run away. Run away is lobster. <laughs> okay, this one I run away. Let's put it in the plate. Now they're going to be shrimp. cooking all these shrimps because there's already too much lobster and only a few shrimps yeah, I think that will be enough for us one more one more yep 
that's plenty. I don't think we need more than that. Because we have only three people. Okay. Let me add the butter for this one too. Salt, a bit of garlic, Soya sauce and teriyaki sauce. A little bit of teriyaki sauce. And black pepper. Don't put too many spices in there, just salt and black pepper in everything. And soya sauce, teriyaki sauce. Okay, our shrimp are ready. You don't want to cook shrimp too much because it's going to dry out. Not going to be tasted with them. Okay, now time to cook scallops. This one I don't want it. Where is it? It's getting too low. Thing, a little bit of garlic, a little butter, some salt. Some black pepper. Okay, I was scallops almost done. I'm gonna cut it in half. Make like a bite-sized piece. Make sure I get a little bit more spices inside. There's no spices actually. Just the butter and soy sauce. Make it a little black pepper. Then. 
you don't want to cook any meat too much because it's going to get harder. So, it doesn't matter. Even the steaks, if you're cooking, maybe chicken you're baking or something, you don't, you don't want to burn like a too. Some people like to, oh, this not done. You want to cook more. But um, I've seen some people wanted to do, oh, it's not done. It's, it's raw. But it's not raw. If you cook, all this gets cooked all the way inside. Okay, let's go see everything together how it looks. Okay, friends, our kibachi grill is ready. All the meat is here lobster, shrimp, and scallop, and sprout, and vegetables, and fried rice. And looks so yummy. And I have some spicy mayo. I made that. And also, I have a ginger sauce. If you need the recipe, let me know so I will, I will make that for you um okay try it i think definitely you're gonna like it and share with your friends and please share with your friends so and have them subscribe and you subscribe and uh, subscribe subscription is a free you know so it's my son's birthday so we are celebrating my son's birthday today so after we eat we're gonna go cut the cake my son don't like to be in the TV, in the videos. <laughs> my husband, my son don't like to be in the videos. So, okay. See you later. Bye. Have a good day.